गुड मॉर्निंग सो वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर लर्निंग ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द मेंटल रूब्रिक्स दिस मैजम एंड द कंपैरिजन सो इन द लास्ट वी कैन वी हैव लर्न द रूब्रिक ऑफ बीइंग सो अ क्विक रीकैप ऑफ द लास्ट सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट टू ट्रीट द केस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द मैजम सो द सोरा primary defense mechanism start with the inflammatory response from the hostel process and at the mental level it produces a sensitivity either exaltation of the sensitivity or deprivation of the sensitivity as well as there is uh, inhibitions it, and apprehensions and complaining these are the soaring the picture of the process then we understood the uh, psychotic the secondary defense mechanisms as in the physiological plane the sora is a physiological whereas the psychosis and syphilis is a morphological so sora is a primary defense psychosis and syphilis is a secondary defense so here the psychosis is a secondary defense at the mental level we understood that the psychosis is to protect the self so behind that there is a fear and the insecurity and to overcome that insecurity and the fear they produce a projections that projection in the form of facade so that we have learned in the last sessions so out of that uh, we want to survive in the insecure world so we need something to protect ourselves in the form of either money in the form of a food so to get these things by hooks or crooks they play a part okay this is psychosis and the third defense mechanism which we have learned in the last session was the syphilis so the syphilis is represented as uh, amplification so we get into sora these exaggerations the psychosis can converted into syphilis it is called as a distortions something which is unnatural which we call the as a uh, perversions and something which is out of control hey wire and unpredictable it is a cyclical kind of syphilis. so this is something which represents the syphilis we have one notes here that uh, we put it is if it is a syphilitic like the sle a tumors or fast growing tumors syphilitic tumors leukemia juvenile diabetes rheumatoid arthritis and cancers so in that case the child is born with a precocity so in that case be aware of to take precocity as an entry point because this is a representation presentation of the body and the mind because what sort is tell mind and body is the same language so when a person is going early into the syphilitic state so he may produce a psychosis very fast and the precocity is one kind of the psychosis early development so last time we have learned how to analyze the case each and every case has to analyze in a very simple format so this was a simple format according to myism we have taken some strong myismatic rubrics first one either of the mental or either of the physical mostly the mental rubric will help as a mental methods then we have to add certain physical generals and physical particulars either a pathological symptoms then we combine with the kentian methods rubrics so rubrics of the will intellect moral attachment sensitivity and emotions and then we have a generals thermal thoughts and everything after desire and then repetitions so after the repetitions we have come to the conclusion there are three four remedies or one one two remedies or four five remedies out of that we have to add a present dispositions if it is in a acute state it is a present disposition change disposition if it is in a chronic state of the psychotic so we have to take a inner characteristic of the person so in that we have differentiate according to this is the just a uh, gist of all the case how to analyze the case then we have learned a uh, different approach to the case if we have a slow progressing psychotic disease then we have this protocol if we have a slow progressing psychosyphilitic case then this is the protocol and if we have a fast moving fatal illness out of control then this protocol. so this was our last session recap so in short when there is a sora sora and acute soric disease we have to use a uh, more important to senses the senses as altered 
very important. Nowadays, a case comes to you, it's a fever case. We should always say, Sir, uh, I used to have a bitter taste in my house, or a water taste bitter, or a food taste bitter, unless and until this fever starts. So, this is a very big QRS. So, the senses has altered. Sometimes, some say that, Sir, I used to have a nausea because of some sort of strong smells. Fever started, and this is. So, this is the senses. And this census plus add the chart of acute. So in chart of acute we have a six step. So we will continue this case taking process. See up till now we have learned the case taking of the pediatrics from head to foot. But in acute the case taking is little bit different. So in a, uh, upcoming sessions we are going with the case taking of the acute with a few acute cases. So we will understand how to approach this case very easily. So in chart of acute it is very easy and more than 60 to 70 percent of your OPD cases will be treated with the chart of acute in acute prescription. In psychotic disease, the first and foremost thing is we have to add the dispositions, aphorism number 211, 12, 213, 214, everything decide about the dispositions. Then the innate characteristic, genetically it is born with. Then thermal thirst. This is the criteria in all psychotic cases. So this is this position is represent as extroverted, introverted, real intellect, moral attachment, sensitivity. So that was the case. And in a slow security disease, we have to add the security group three. Okay. And this position plus thermal and the thirst. And a fast security disease, we have to say again, senses is most important in sora as well as in even side, right side or left side. Most important is in a soic cases, left side is, is more purely affected. Whereas in psychotic cases, right side is more affected. This is not hard and fast general rule for each and every cases, but you can understand this. And the side importance is most commonly in the soic cases and sympathetic cases, not in psychotic. So sympathetic rubric. So sympathetic rubric you need to categorize from the exaggeration, distortion, unnatural perversions, hysterical, or destructive type of syphilis. Or the later there is a two more syphilis is autoimmune syphilis and the genetic mutated syphilis. So you take certain rubric from that plus add senses and you treat the sympathetic fast sympathetic. Where you find this fast sympathetic cases? The fast sympathetic cases you find in the ICU. And the person is fighting with the life and death. At that time, you have these possibility cases. So, in that cases, just observe the patients, and by the observations, you can take the senses and the some security particular that is helping you to revive from the dead bed. And after that, after the person is revived from the dead bed, we just have to intervene with the innate characteristic as a genetic ancestral. So the basis of prescription should not be the general symptoms or the trait of the miasm. This I was explained in the uh, last sessions. I have given you an example of the emaciation. So emaciation is a general symptom of the syphilis. But don't prescribe on the basis of just emaciation. But if you found some particular of emaciation, then it is the constitutional symptoms only. It is not the uh, uh, general symptoms of the syphilis. The same way. We have all mental general and mental particular. So for example, affectionate. So affectionate is a dispositional symptom. Okay. It's a mental general symptom. In the affectionate, there are lots of remedies. But when we think of a phosphorus, affectionate wants written affection. This is a particular of that. Phosphorus is the only remedy which required to be affectionate and in the bargain they want affection from others also. They want affection, love, care from others. They want magnetism, mesmerism from the others. So this is what you have to understand the mental general as well as mental particulars. So mental particulars has more importance than the mental general. Okay. Same way, so in that also don't take general symptoms or trait, but you can understand the constitution. So this is this affectionate, phosphorus is affectionate, pulsatile is affectionate. Even Caucasus is also affectionate. Okay. But the difference is 
based on the affections which type of affections is what pulsatilla do affections pulsatilla always blackmail you that you do not love me even tuberculinum also like affectionate but also tuberculinum also do like that to blackmail you that you do not love me so this is the kind of disposition they had so this is what the constitutional system it is not the symptoms of general okay so very important aspect of this chart is to, to approach the each and every cases encounter in your clinic so last time we have learned about the uh, rubrics of the wheel and in case taking sessions we have understood that how to take a wheel from the patients so today we deal with the memory now memory is the part of our intellect okay what is the memory random access memory or ram so we came across the process called as mobiles and technologies so all the technologies having a memory so memory is encoded in the uh, central processing unit and it is in the form of binaries so in binaries it is encoded so same way when we learn something in our day in day out experience from our ancestral life to till today's life we have engrafted our memory in our genetic codes and that memory is engrafted so many experience see you have seen that uh, uh, the generations after 20 uh, 2000 20 uh, 2000 it called the jangzi generations you you heard of that word i remember that word jangzi generation i know so that generations is well versed in utilizing the technologies right now the old or very small kid teaches the grandfather that uh, grandfather this is this is the mobile you have to operate this this is the youtube you have to operate this way that was the real man actually the process so same way this generations is very fast because in the the father parents have learned the technology gradually but when the next generation comes that technology is already learned so the memory has stored and it transferred to the next generation so this is what the memory is so how to ask the memory so most of time in the case taking we need to ask the common question tell me about your, how powerful your memory is so many people say that uh, i used to have uh, good memory i remember my past i remember my childhood history i remember all the things or uh, i remember something which is happening long ago or sometime uh, some old people come to you they tell you each and every date very precise date and telling you the history that uh, on this day i had this on this day i had done this on this day i started my company on this day i have my business on this day i got married on this date so this is what memory active very important so this is something that you need to understand some may say that i do remember everything about my parents past and childhood so this is something you have to understand so the memory sometime uh, one of my colleague friends having a very good memory so when we have in a conversation he used to crack a joke according to situation according to situation any damn situation comes in our uh, day in day out uh, meetings so he crack a joke and that is what we understood that this is what he had a lot of memory and his processing unit is so fast that he crack a joke according to situations so we took on the security group from that memory active recollect in one minute in one minute okay that was the thing so this was our Uh, yeah. So again, so memory means what? One process is called as a short term memory. One process is called as a long term memory. Short term memory means when we have some senses, we are in, uh, so it store in a certain area for a shorter period of time. And if we cannot recollect again and again, then it will vanish away. But in a long term memory, it is more impactful and it remains longer time. So we can re recollect again. Okay. memory has the process called recollection so recollection means see we have engrafted everything everyone has experience 
but somewhere the problem in the recollections i cannot remember i cannot recollect sometimes a patient books to you sir hum mile to hai but i don't know the name of it because i cannot recollect something so something that is written forgetfulness of the name forgetfulness of place so i have i have gone through this place also uh, i know the uh, way uh, we are going this way this way this way but i don't remember the name of that i don't remember the name of that restaurant i don't remember the name of that place i don't remember that things so that is what the recollection issue is okay so you need to ask do you, do you recollect easily your uh, past event or you can have issues okay how could they are in remembering numbers and names same way that is very important so i said that the person is telling you the dates every time so this day i had operated from this place and after that this day i had this so this is very important. they are very particular try to find out any characteristic regarding the memory of the individuals okay here the physician should try to see any peculiar things about the memory or any forgetfulness tendency every day he comes to the office but he forget when to uh, in which road i have to go so the forgetfulness of the well known street also so memory so memory has a weakness so the rubric related to the memory is like this first and foremost thing is dullness so how you find dullness on the patient so dullness on the patient you find is the face then the thinking process then the reactions of the person in front of you sitting in front of you so whenever most of time you can find dullness in acute cases so sir has put one chart dullness so the facial uh, what we call it is a luster of the face or brightness of the face is become reduced energy will reduce okay that was a dullness so mental state a person has no luster or a brightness on his face marked by sluggishness and slowness in the process difficulty in thinking and comprehending i cannot understand you are, are you asking certain question what happened sir what sir what so this is something that he cannot comprehend he cannot think okay and that represent a dullness so dullness is something can be very and it is psychotic in nature slowness in the process second memory weakness or loss of most of time the old people goes into a dementia and we have a diagnosis called as alzheimer's disease so it is something called as a pathological loss of memory okay mostly it happens because of the the cortex is being atrophied in the older age okay and that creates a loss of memory because cortex to the old memory so loss of memory but you can find uh, children also having this phenomena this is syphilis very important weakness of the memory is psychosis and loss of memory is syphilis so anything which is going less it is psychosis less and anything which is destroyed it is so again dementia dementia is something called as irreversible process it cannot be reversible as a medical term so irreversible determinations of the intellectual faculty with accompanying emotional disturbances resulting from organic brain disorders and it is called as syphilis so we have a rubric of dementia also so most of time uh, Uh, persons, middle-aged persons came with the old fathers. That my father used to have a, a loss of memory. He cannot remember what where he is, and he cannot remember. He had remembrance of the old past, but he cannot remember what is right now happening. So this is something called as a dementia, irreversible memory. It is syphilis. So forgetfulness, mostly in the old people. See. forgetfulness and weakness of memory both are the different things 
what is the pro process of the storage and what is the process of recollection okay so say both are the syphilis imbecility imbecility is in the behavior imbecility is in the behavior the condition of being deficiency of the mental ability the person has no consideration what is good or bad so he cannot decide what is good or bad he cannot use his mental faculty for reasoning that it is good or bad so it is something called as buddhidani less of intelligence less of intelligence this is this is not a total destruction of intelligence it is a less of intelligence okay but still there is a deficiency of mental ability so ability to decide ability to reason ability to uh, concentrate focus and everything but it is something deficiency and that create a imbecility okay this is a phase again prostration of the mind and the brain fat the condition of being powerless in the mind and complete mental exhaustion and syphilis most commonly you can find this in the intellectual people prostrations because it is something that over uses of something can lead to the prostrations okay and that prostrations of the mind and causes brain fat so they are too, so tired you have we have a remedy like picric acid we have a remedy like uh, phosphoric acid these are the remedy which is mostly used in prostration of the mind and uh, one of my sir used to tell that the prostration of the mind is something which is related to the diabetes so in case of diabetes what happened see our intellectual brain is using only two foods one is the glucose and second one is the oxygen rest nothing going into the brain okay when there is a deprivation of the oxygen and deprivation so there is a deprivation of oxygen it got is being fed and when there is a deprivation of the glucose it reduces the power of the mind or reason and that create a prostration so this is something called as hypoglycemic state you can think of prostration of mind and sometimes due to prostration of the mind body in compensation body needs more glucose to utilize and it produce hyperglycemia so in diabetes you can think of prostration mind as a pathological movie are you getting me because in compensations brain needs more food that's why blood has increased the okay now why this prostration of mind is happening you have to understand the process in diabetes what happened actually in diabetes diabetes is a case in which uh, the conflict related to diabetes is a two kind of one is a resistance conflict majorly resistance conflict and when there is a female it is a fear and disgust conflict so there is a two conflict related to diabetes to this conflict now what is uh, the resistance conflict to resist something i need to fight something i need to have a ability to fight so i need a more power and I, if i need a more power i need to use more brain to overcome this resistance to overcome this fight so in day in day out what was the resistance fight is going on in the mental process of the diabetic person so you need to ask how the diabetes started what was the stress going on day in day out because diabetes is a slow psychotic process so there is a chronicity of the process is going on so either a chronic grief chronic sadness or chronic problem which is going to resist them and fight for it so he was fighting for so for example uh, i used to have a business a good business and we run this business in a well well form but suddenly uh, the recession happens so my business was collapsed suddenly uh, demonetization happened again my business has collapsed suddenly my uh, partner dumped me my business has collapsed so to overcome that collapse he started using his more intellect and out of that more intellect he used to have more glucose in the blood level and that is what the resistance is going on so in all that cases the he is more money minded he is more insecure about the money he is more insecure about the business and he has a failure 
in the business or either he has uh, loss of financial condition so this can create a diabetes and out of that there is a prostration of the body are you getting same way a female a female having a fear disgust complex so in fear disgust complex so to there is a fear fear means insecurity and disgust means i don't like that things so to overcome that things i need to have a power food. see if i have a fear but i don't want to show my fear to everyone what i need to do i need to protect it i need to cover it so i need to cover it i need more glucose i need more power and suddenly what happens if the fear fear means what if a mouse is chased by the cat what mouse is doing mouse is running fast so for faster running what mouse what the muscles power and for muscles power what they need they need the glucose so to overcome the fear there is a more glucose is going on in the body or in the muscles so muscles is going breakdown and after the breakdown of muscles the glucogenesis is happen and that glucogenesis create the hyperglycemia in the body so that is what again that causes prostration of the mind and brain fat so the fear so in female most of time the female has diabetes because of some uh, family situation happening and some family disgusting event is happening and that create a havoc and that create a fear so husband was so much so dominating in laws were so much so dominating not allowing her to do any work she had a fear and she don't like that also to overcome that she goes into psychosis and that create a that is i am not going into detail of the each and every case but i am just explaining the rubrics so prostration of the mind it is mostly related to that okay then work mental impossible i don't like to do any mental work so mental exertion that grave or mental faculty has to be shut down it is very uh, very impossible for a person to do some mental exertion so some intellectual work he cannot do so reading is impossible writing is impossible or some mental thinking process is impossible so that create a work mental impossible it is also a syphilis again so the reaction behind that is what uh, memories and everything is uh, like that if i don't understand something the gravity of the situation so my reaction cannot be a normal one it can be abrupt one okay so so abrupt means what the suddenly breaking off without giving notice or without a usual form see something each and every rubric has to categorize into a different different format the format is like thinking feeling actions and behavior okay t fab which we call as t fab okay thinking feeling action and behavior and again out of that thinking feeling action and behavior we have to categorize rubric into will intellect moral emotions and each and everything so that is what we are now abrupt so abrupt is a reaction of behavior pattern it is not a thinking pattern it is a behavior pattern so the behavior is disturbed so suddenly breaking off without giving notice or without usual form producing the effect of the sharp break or a sudden ending unexpected unceremoniously caught in the manner sudden and unexpected of the speech not smooth disconnected of the behavior so here most of time you cannot predict the person what is going to tell you this is what abrupt is okay sudden sometimes you are asking something and he started something else this is also abrupt you are asking some question and started abusing abrupt so this is what the behavior unexpected sudden and disconnected of the behavior answer abruptly answer hastily hastily means there is a speed in the answer okay and abruptly means the unconnected and sudden and a disconnected process okay excitement and excitable so again excitement excitable is again the faculty power so if i my faculty is working properly i should be excitable okay uh, you may say that uh, when you go to the uh, football 
and uh, suddenly some Ronaldo has done a goal and then the whole crowd is doing the ah, yeah that was exciting excited so sometime a small kid comes to your clinic they are so excited you feel that oh yeah tacha santi okay that was excitable and excited so arousing of the strong emotional response and exaggerated feeling of pleasure so here in excitement there is a pleasure for you okay in various condition during the illness can be easily judged by this action so most of time we have one rubric that excitement excitable aggravates or element from excitement we have a rubric so most of time you can have a differentiation from the joy joy is a different and excitement is a different so joy means the pleasure khush excitement means something which is anticipated comes to kuch aane wala hai and then you have that excitement and suddenly that excitement causes a uh, hello okay and joy means you enjoy the process process so for example uh the child comes to your clinic suddenly uh, have a fever and fever was something like that uh, uh, since yesterday yesterday evening we had a fever and you ask what happened what happened something fright is happening something anger is happening something bad event is happening and the mother father said in that not so we went to some party we have some excitement we enjoy a lot and child is enjoying a lot in the party that was excitement so that is something enjoying 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 and after that enjoyment he got so that is the element from joy okay now what happened we went to the party which we called as halloween party so we were so excited to make a halloween and suddenly after that halloween he got frightened also so that is excitement and excitable so there is a two element element from excitement and element from fright okay in one process it is called element from joy in another process it is element from excitement when think to the halloween party it is was ex- excitement but after that excitement he got frightened because of seeing that halloween so that is something you have to understand so arousing of strong emotional response and excited feeling of pleasure in various condition and during the illness it can be very easily measurable so you can find out in most of children okay hurry and haste again it is a rubric of the genetics so hurry and haste at a level of mind so hurry in the talk hurry in the eating hurry in the walking okay so this is something but a state of eagerness or urgency there is urgency a state of mind in the person is peculiar characteristic of restlessness mind always quick fast in doing all his work even though he has all time on the hand to do it as it is leisure okay bandhi ji ke uttam so there is a difference between hurry and impatience i am in hurry always i am impatient when i have to wait are you getting me i am impatient when i have to wait for something girlfriend ko bola tha 5 baje mein garden mein aa jaunga and the boyfriend went to garden at 5 o'clock girlfriend came at 5:41 boyfriend call kar raha hai are kahan hai tu again she said okay i am on the way 5:2 another call kar raha hai kahan hai tu so that was the impatience was one example another example which you find in the clinic so whenever the waiting area you are uh, there are four five people sitting in waiting area you are uh, seeing one patient in your clinic and one fellow comes to your clinic and open the door sir kitna der lagega you say 5 minutes after after 1 2 minutes again he said sir kitna der lagega because that person is not able to wait for a time this is impatience this is very important in your clinic you can find like this kind of personality so impatience is the behavior of the person who is always in hurry restless and intolerance of delay very important as well intolerance of delay kuch late hona nahi chahiye okay why they cannot wait if a person is having pain or he is so restless with the pain that he cannot wait for a reaction of the drug which relieves his pain again very important see i had one case the case was something like that 
he uh, the boy boy of uh, infant doctor in college and uh, he used to have a uh, cold and for either so uh, he said that sir i think karan yaar man to nahi pata pata ke mat jaye you dawa apna hai man ko de de na pata pata dawa please please sir man yaar dawa so he was so much so impatient with this mind that ke sir you ko dawa apna ke matter lo na allah ko mar jaye pata jaye that was impatience horizon to the only remedy comes in nurse omega i said you take nurse omega single dose and it took and uh, next day he came sir sir we come to get so that was the characteristic we cannot wait intolerance of delay so most of time a diamond worker comes to you and they have allergic rhinitis and they say that uh, sir i need to go to box and uh, everything so एनर्जी so right now i am relating one incident which is happening in the news right now and that incident was the crash of the car accidents happening at ahmedabad so this is what the behavior is impetuous very important rashness no thoughts about any consequences happening there and they are very abrupt and impulsive so impulse was i am running fast So this is what impetu was. So most of time uh, the the behavior of the persons also comes into your clinic. That also be the impetu. You have to understand that behavior that what he is talking to you. There is a, some mannerism in the clinic also. There is some attitudes and manners in the clinic also. So when the persons lacking that manners and attitudes in the clinic, you can think of certain this critic kind of rubric. Either a impetuous, either a impolite person, either he is a dictatorial person, or either there is a lack of reverence. Okay, right? A young boy came to uh, clinic and uh, he said that I went to a doctor. He, a doctor ne to deisa dawai diya tha, but kuch kuch chik nahi hua. that is again lack of reverence okay and the behavior is, is like this so it is one what kind of personality the chin is upright reverence lack of chin is upright what is so this is what within a few seconds you can just judge the persons okay so this is what the behavior pattern you have to understand the quick to act the great coordination of the idea and action in the mind of the person If the person having a good intellect, if the person having a good memories, then he can act very quickly, quick to act. Okay, very alert. Okay. Again, behind that there is a fear, there is a emotion called as a fear, because when there is a fear, I need to become so much so alert, and due to that alertness, I need to become quick to act to overcome that situation. Okay, fine. You have seen a uh, snake. the uh, what we call as sapera this is the sapera i don't know so snake catchers <laughs> snake catchers we can say so uh, the olden days snake which are using beans they are playing beans in front of uh, snakes and suddenly they grab the to distract the snake for the moment at that time snake was very very alert and quick to act same way the human being also like a snake they are very quick quick to act so you can understand the remedy which is uh, having a high intellect uh, drug remedy uh, ophidias are very very fast in quick to act so most of drug remedy like belladonna hyoscyamus stramonium opium valerian they are very quick to act all ophidias are very quick to act certain ophidias are done the right ophidias are there why can i write ophidias okay 
therefore so so already we have learned in our case taking session that intellect are of a different different types five types of intellect based on our five senses okay so we need to ask study kaise hai apne aap karta hai ya uske piche kisi ko lagna padta hai agar koi businessman hai to businessman ko kya puchhenge businessman ne apne aap ko business kaise handle kiya hai कैसे हैंडल कर रहा है कहाँ से शुरुआत की कैसे बिजनेस को बढ़ाया अगर इंटेलेक्चुअल है तो बिजनेस को बढ़ाया है अगर इंटेलेक्चुअल नहीं है तो लॉस भी किया है कैसे लॉस किया ही कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द ग्रेविटी ऑफ द बिजनेस सो ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इंटेलेक्चुअली शार्प है या स्लो है आज वेदर ही इज गुड हाउ गुड दे आर इन मेकिंग एनी डिसीजन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज डिसीजन कैसे लेते हो खुद से ले रहे हो या किसी की सलाह लेनी मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम एट्टी परसेंट पीपल टेल यू दैट आई नीड टू टेक एडवाइस फ्रॉम माई पेरेंट्स आई नीड टू टेक एडवाइस फ्रॉम माई गुरु आई नीड टू टेक एडवाइस फ्रॉम सम वन एल्स आई नीड टू टेक एडवाइस फ्रॉम सम सम वन एल्स एंड सम आर दैट दे से दैट आई डोंट टेक एनी एडवाइस फ्रॉम माई फ्रेंड्स आई एम द सोल अथॉरिटी इन माई फील्ड सो आई नीड टू टेक एनी एनी आर डिसीजन आई एम कंसर्न सो दैट वाज द स्ट्रांग विल काइंड ऑफ पर्सनालिटी टू टेक डिसीजंस सो डिसीजिव काइंड ऑफ पर्सनालिटी एंड सम दे आर इन दिस इज most of time you need to find out some peripheral history and after that peripheral history you find out that this person is not taking any decision by the self so for example i will give you one example of the boy who came to clinic with the complaint certain complaint so i asked about uh, tell me about your qualification he said that i had done ecom then he said that i had done uh, some architect work then he said that i went to some civil work uh, from job and then he said i went to now i am doing uh, some uh, another work so i asked why you are doing like that to become then architect then civil work and then right now you are doing something else not convenient to your uh, education or professions so he said that uh, whenever i was i was in the 12th standard i used to have uh, uh, my old friend goes to become so i went to be cool because i need to go with my friend so i started be cool after be cool my father says that uh, my father was uh, in construction uh, construction business so my father says that you have to work with some architect so you start learning architect so i started learning architect but i don't understand properly so i left that and after that my father said you come to the civil work again okay, with me so uh, again i went to the, my father's work and i do in civil work but still okay 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 but i don't like that so again I, so right now i am doing something else because i need to have so, so in that case actually is not taking any decision out of it the father is taking all the decisions so this is what head belongs to so can they take decisions on the spot or think a lot or then decide or is it they i have take someone's advice from the so this is what the example i have made or till the end they are very confused or state of being most of time you can find out this in the females whenever they give to the shopping and they started shopping like a sarees or dress and everything so they they never went alone no single female went to shopping or if the single female went to shopping it is called as window shopping they never buy anything <laughs> because they cannot decide this is what my experience i am not saying that any female is a lack of being or lack of decision power there are the female being very decisive but this is what something i have experienced so the female went to some shoppings they started shopping something they sent take a photos and they sent to husband they sent to the friends they sent to someone else this is kaisi lag rahi ho agar achhi hai to nahi likhi so they ask decision to three people out of three people one says it's good two people say it's not good okay so same way you cannot she cannot understand ab decision kya lo so she went home without shopping and that is what indecisiveness is indecisive in resolution also try to see whether the person is sitting in front of you is conscientious or non conscientious diligent or non diligent it is very important in acute as well as uh, simulated cases in 
conservative cases the gun science is very important and in acute cases the diligent and non diligent is very important for that we are dealing in the acute sessions so in acute session i am going in detail of the contentiousness and diligent and non diligent process okay ask them whether they do their work or duty when they are not well why this is very important so duty duty oriented duty means what the concept sense of right and wrong doing okay so they are doing something see most of time in acute cases you have to understand a child came to the my clinic and the child says child is a fever but he used to go to the school he cracked the exam also in spite of fever and he said that i need to go to the school so i uh, we are generally that his teacher is holding you is there any punishment after it if you are not he said no no sir parents tell parents says, sir aapko mana karna padta hai abhi padhna band karo tujhe bukhar hai so ja He is studying in spite of fever. He is studying, so this remedy is very diligent to change his relaxation. So I prescribe the shot to in the fever fever case. Recently we have that case. Okay, so that is what you need to ask. Why? Okay, in for the child study is the duty. For a female the household work is the duty. For a male his business his workplace is the duty. So if he is doing in acute. in a proper way without complaining even though he had a fever or complaint that it is called as contentious reading and kind of person okay in study also we were also in regular at school or college most of times the night now the uh, school is not working we are dummy schools so most of people are non diligent okay but this is what something you need to ask diligence here and in ladies also that work so this is what something you have to categorize for a children the study is most important for ladies the household work is most important and for a adult person the work and the business is most important okay if the person says that if i don't go to do my business and my business is going to loss then it is not diligence because behind that there is a security and fear okay that is very important so okay dullness is again a rubric of so we have a intellect two type of intellect a good intellect or bad intellects okay so dull intellect or good intellect so here dull dull intellect is a dullness so dullness means susti madhya and the mental state same way which has we have described so another things very important is indiscretion the indiscretion rubric is very important in each and every case you need to understand the patients from the perspective of eagle view where he have to describe or where he have to discrete something from different things in discretion is not discrete lack of circumspect lack of judgment and this rubric is a cyclic rubric this rubric is cyclic rubric sir has explained this rubric very beautifully in whole variety so sir has given a lot of example of variety out of the discretion so what is in discretion so marked by lack of discretion an act of variance with the accepted morality of the society equated with by the end with circumspection lack of and imprudence can thus be seen as applicable to those who lack the ability to assess what to say and what not to say according to context mujhe kya bolna hai aur kya nahi bolna hai uska bhi judgment usko hota I will share one example of one of the movie, Ferrari ki Sawari. You have seen that movie, Ferrari ki Sawari. I think uh, uh, Sharman Joshi was the main character. So he used to go to go by the scooter and uh, he used to uh, cross the signal and he break the signal. But at that signal, no traffic police were there. Okay, so uh, he was carrying his young kid with the. Uh, and that scooter so uh, he uh, broke the signal so her kid told him that daddy you have broke the signal so he went to uh, another signal 
and uh, he uh, parked his bike to one of the policemen, traffic policemen, and said that uh, fine. So policeman said that why? So he said that I had a break, no signal ahead. So uh, that policeman fellow said that did anyone see you? Any traffic policeman see you? He said no. So why you are going to find? He said that my kid has seen that me. I had broken the. So this is something called as honesty. Too much honesty. But here there is a stupidity also. Person is doing like that. That you find me, okay? Out of so much so honesty, is so much so stupid. This is a act of indiscretion. It is called a So there are a lot of examples which what to say and what to not, what not to say according to the context. Such people tend to be insensitive to the moral codes or a particular beliefs, distinct from the rubric confined in, in that by the later reveal secret knowingly and perhaps with just a conspirational air, indiscretion is by no means necessarily intentional but rather more to do with the clumsiness or naivety. Naivety means what? Yes, very naive. So out of naiveness they go into stupidity. Okay? And that stupidity is something like that. So what to say, what not to say. Very important. Again, indiscretion when we combine at the level of indiscretion, lack of judgment, lack of circumstances. So whenever we thought some mind of pathology, so whenever we think of some autoimmune, autoimmunity at the level of body. So what is autoimmunity? So autoimmunity is something that I need, immunity means what? I need to judge some antigen is there. So according to that antigen, I need to prepare an antibody in my immune system. Okay. Once the antibody is recognized, I, I have the antibody when the antigen attacked. So this is what our normal immune system is going on. Okay. Now what happened? When there is a lack of circumspection for judgment, what happened? The recognition process is disturbed. So they recognize antigen. But they understand our own cells is also auto antigen. And antibody is already prepared, so antibody is attacking the auto antigen, means our own cells due to lack of judgment, lack of circumspection, and out of that they produce autoimmunity. So, here in autoimmunity, I would think indiscretion is one of the pathological groups at the mind of pathology. Are you getting the, what Sir has said that? When there is a person is going towards death, again autoimmunity there is one, another rubric which sir used to say that death desire. Death desire means what? The person is slowly going towards the death process. So autoimmunity is what? Gun towards the cells. So when there is a gun towards the cells, means I am going to die soon. So that is means I am desiring the death. So death desire and indiscretion, these are the two pathological rubrics which I use, frequently used in autoimmune process. Okay. Even lactases is there in indiscretion. Even mercury is there in indiscretion. Parieta is there in indiscretion. Naxomica is there in indiscretion. So this is something which we call as uh, interpretations of the mind of pathology at the level of cellular, it is autoimmune. So indiscretion is one of the autoimmune. Reveal secrets. Okay. So reveal secret, this rubric is more specific than indiscretion in that it denotes the particular tendency of the patient to reveal things which were either though studiously concealed unknown. While indiscretion may involve the revealing of the secret, it may be that this derives from the naivety, clumsiness, or insensitivity. Reveal secret, however, is unambiguous in that they are that the very aim is the revealing of secret itself. Only in, in this process the person shows awareness that what is being divulged is confidential or is he or she is confined. So here reveal secret is what? Most of time 
you can see this region structure is mostly children. Okay. So some uh, husband, is, uh, husband and wife is talking some confidential matter in the families. Okay, and they uh, the child was sitting here. So they uh, they are talking confidentially. And suddenly the child is going out and child is talking everything what husband and father is or mother or father is talking. So this is something called revealing secret. जो confidential बताना चाहिए वो confidential बंदा नहीं है. Revealing secret. Okay. And indiscretion में क्या होता है? Out of nearness. Out of clumsiness, he cannot understand what is actually. मुझे ये बोलना है या नहीं बोलना है मुझे समझ में नहीं है तो मैं बोल देता हूँ. That is indiscretion. Very discreet point. Okay. And answers foolish. Okay. Answers foolish means something which is you like like a fool. So you are being ridiculed. So you you always laugh on something. The answer is like police. Okay. I, I, right now I have no example of that, but I will uh, get some example uh, in the video format. So we will have a good conversation on that. Okay. Again, if the intellect is see here, antique play. Antique play can be of two variants. Uh, dull intellect can also antique play, or even a good intellect people also can be antique play. So antique play means what? The antique play is something that he is making his behavior or he is making his facial gestures to attend to get the attention of the observer. That is called antique play. If observer is not there, he is not doing any antique play. That's all. Okay. So some dull intellect people also can do antique play, or some intelligent people can do also. Foolish behavior, a type of behavior which can be judged to be unintelligible or lacking consideration according to the occasions. Say for example, uh, most of the time you have seen that in a video somewhere. Uh, he, according to the function, according to the functions of social constraint, then uh, clothing should be like this. Should be like this. But it is something that it cannot be according to that context. Then this is something called foolish behavior. Say for example, if uh, someone going into bundle of ceremonies and wearing a wedding suit, okay, wearing a <coughs> wedding suit in a bundle of ceremony, it is something foolish behavior. Okay. Or so same way in a wedding, he is wearing white and white. The child is behavior, the lacking maturity, a mental condition when the mature person behaves like a child. Since the behavior of the mature person is like a child, it can be general due to improper development of the brain of the person or during the course of sickness. Most of the time we have a uh, one uh, proverb in Gujarati, Sathya Bhutti Nati. That means after 60 years of the age, the intellect of the older people get reduced. And he behave like a child, so uh, he becomes so much so obstinate like the child. So this is something like the childlike behavior in the mature persons. Sometimes we used to say that, "Kya bache jaise alka dekha ta rehta hai." That is also childish behavior. Okay. Videos. A condition of the sub normal. See, we have learned imbecile. There is a deficiency of the mental ability. Idiocy, a condition of the subnormal intellectual development or ability marked by intelligence in the largest measurable range. This is dull to incomplete or abnormal development of the brain. So most of the time when you go the IQ score. So IQ score is very less in idiotic people. For that you know to, know to go to the psychological test. Okay. So idiocy is called as Mental impairment, mental retardation, one kind of. Okay. Frivolous, not work serious, <coughs> not is characterized by lack of seriousness. Already we have done frivolous. Unserious, taking things easily, do not become that serious is usually people who are in similar situations as he is. Okay. Laughing over serious matter, very important. 
जहाँ सीरियस मैटर है वहां पे जाके अगर हॉस्पिटल में किसी की आईसीयू में देखने गया और वो पे वो बंदा लाइफ एंड डेथ के बीच जोल रहा है और मरने वाला है डॉक्टर ने बोल दिया वी हैव नो उसको वी आर जस्ट और ये वहां जाके हंसता रहता है ही कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द ग्रेविटी ऑफ द सिचुएशन कि जो बंदा मरने वाला है और वो हंसता है सो दैट पर्सन इज यूज इज लाफिंग इट इज समथिंग फॉर लाफिंग ओवर सीरियस मैटर दिस इज अगेन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन वन फाइंड आउट लाफिंग ओवर सीरियस मैटर देयर इज लॉट ऑफ रेमेडीज देयर मोस्टली आई थिंक थोड़ी ब्रेक आई गई 
टैबलेट के मोबाइल लेने बैठो हो तो कलाक कलाक दो डेढ़ कलाक बेस है पर हम भाई भंसट्रेशन मशनट्रेशन थोड़ी बार थे तो ऊबो आम थे तेम थे सो देट वॉज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन डिफिकल्ट ओके मेडिटेशन सो मेडिटेशन मीन्स ध्यान चिंतन गहन विचार प्राइवेट डिमोशन और स्पिरिचुअल एक्सरसाइज कंसिस्टिंग इन डीप कंटिन्यू रिफ्लेक्शन और ऑन रिलीजियस थी सीरीज ऑफ थॉट ओकेजन बाय एनी सब्जेक्ट सी वी हेव अ रूबरी मेडिटेशन एग्राइस सो मनी अ टाइम अ पेशेंट कम्स टू यू एंड दे वेट टू सम what we call as uh, 10 days meditation sessions okay and after that 10 days meditation session they came with the certain mental disturbances so meditation is exactly very important meditation means reflecting of the self by concentrating somewhere into the mind okay by sitting silently so sometimes persons cannot do that and that exactly absent minded in absent minded the mind is absent in absent minded as there is no fixation of the mind at all without any thought mind is absent i am delivering a lecture and you are nowhere here this is called absent minded mind is absent okay second absorb so absorb means being fixed here there is no fixation absorb means being fixed in certain thoughts a mental capacity are working perfectly well but the mind is fixed in certain thought totally engaged in certain problems introspective and not reading uh, not reading what is going around so the person is constantly concentrating in certain focus which we call as a flow state so whenever someone is doing some work in a flow state it is called absorb He is not aware of what surrounding is going on. He is not aware of what is going outside. He is not reading outside now. This is called absorb. One of the example of the child, uh, such case was that the child was rubbing some chalk on the this uh, that something is rubbing, and during that rubbing, he used to bleed because her to her thumb was also. we rub and the bleeding is going on but he cannot focus that this is going on going on this is called absorb totally engrossed into this abstraction so this is simple this is also simple this is also simple now this we call as different kind of mental faculties sab log aise sochte ye kuch alag hi sochta hai this is called abstraction of means what i will show you abstract means what abstract means something which is not seen by the normal people which he can see say for example modern arts so in modern arts you have seen some art and you are seeing ye yeah, art mein to hai nahi and the, the artist says that this art is made up of this and this is something like this and this is something like this this is something like this this is abstraction this is what kalpana shakti theorizing abstraction of mind okay. so withdrawal from the worldly things preoccupied a person appear to be dazed with everything when he is interrupted here the person is totally out of reality separated from the rest of the world he is entirely in engrossed in thoughts this state is going to a schizophrenia this destructive symptom sometimes in the mind has been lost here the person is totally out of reality separated from the rest of the world so he is something beyond abstraction of the mind so he is imagining see i will show you abstraction of the mind is means uh, you have seen uh, tare zameen par movie so what uh, that uh, the character of the child is thinking that uh, there is a nine planet so planet is going to stop and this is the equal to six ha yes so that was thinking is called as abstraction of mind that is okay on observing the on observing means not observing okay and lack of observing power or failure to notice 
so thank you so much until next time we will continue this with the moral and emotions once again thank you so much for the patience listening